Hello, Leo. Welcome to Define Dibu. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for visiting my channel, and uh, I hope that you're all doing really well. Today is actually the 10th of October, and this is your love reading for September and October of 2017. Now, I've uploaded an announcement, a video with announcements and I do state the reasons why the September readings were not done. So today's the 10th and in about three hours Jupiter will be moving into Scorpio. So three hours from now Jupiter is moving into Scorpio which is a big thing. Love life for Leo, September and October. See how, see how these readings resonate for you for the month of September and of course October. I'm saying September because we've already passed September. See how this resonates. Leo, dear universe, spirit guides and angels. Love life for Leo. Leo the lion. Okay. Leo for September and October of 2017. Love, 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 love. What's at the bottom? Oh my goodness. <laughs> We've got the devil and I'm using the modern spellcaster's tarot. Okay, the devil is restrictions. And that could be um, Saturn. Okay. Um, Saturnian energy. Um, Saturn is in Sagittarius. It will be till about Christmas, till roughly Christmas of 2017. So. It is affecting all the uh, fire signs, okay, because it's in Sagittarius. It usually, when it's in a fire sign, it will affect the rest of the fire signs as well. So restrictive energies here, and uh, this is also a card of uh, being bound and not being able to move forward, not being able to break free from some situation. It's as though you're going around in circles, okay, and you haven't found the power to break free. This is the general energy. And also this is also a sexual card, okay? So um, a lot of lusty sexual energy with this card and that could be for some of you, all right? This is a general reading. Okay, in the now position, we've got the Page of Cups. Also the Devil card is, uh, it speaks of Capricornian energy. Your challenge is the Five of Cups, my dear Leos. In the distant past, which would be the couple of months that have passed, two, three months back, the Knight of Pentacles. In the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles. Crowning your reading is the Four of Wands. In the near future, we've got the Five of Wands. In the advice position, how people see you, we have the Chariot, which is the card of Cancer. In the environment position, we have the Seven of Wands. I'm not much of a fan of the Seven of Wands, but we've got two Sevens here. Sevens are spiritual number, lucky number, but it is a bit difficult uh, energy wise. In your hopes and fears we have the tower and the outcome card is the ace of swords. Beautiful. Let me take two cards for clarification, two extra cards. We have the three of pentacles 
And we also have the Four of Swords. Okay, at the bottom, as I said, is the card of the Devil. Let's see what's beneath that. Well, the World card. That has shown up in a lot of readings that I've done. The World card is a completion. It's the closing of a cycle. Um, the cycle has ended. Whatever lessons have been learned have been learned. So when we are at the end, it means that something is finishing up. This cycle is finishing up, so there is something new coming in, a new beginning. Okay, the world card is usually a card of success. Okay. It's also a card of travel and international matters. If you are dealing with people who are overseas, foreign people, foreign cultures, etc., that could be the case. Some of you may be traveling even though, yes, I do have the chariot here which is in the position of you. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> Beautiful. Ten of Swords. Actually, I'm surprised that the Nine of Swords has not shown up. It showed up in most of the readings. A couple of the signs did get the Nine and Ten of Swords. So what does that tell you as collective energy? There are completions, major, major shifts. And I know I've said this in the past, but we're still in the energy of the eclipse, the eclipses of August. They've only been a couple of months back. The eclipse energy lasts for up to six months quite, quite a bit, quite strongly. Now, the further away we get from the eclipses, the next eclipses are going to be in February of 2018. So I would say that the, uh, the energy of the eclipses will be... Um, going on until at least the end of the year, okay? So we may have a window of one or two months before the next eclipses. So this is deception, okay? Stabbing of the back, someone has deceived you, but it is the end. It's a 10, thank God. I prefer the 10 of swords than the nine because the 10 says that it is finished. That's it. It cannot get worse. And the Five of Pentacles, yes, feeling left out in the cold, not having enough, a feeling of lack financially, that could be the case for some of you, and emotionally, of course, okay, since we have the Ten of Swords and this is a love reading, right? So the completion, and then we've got the Devil, there is still lingering energy of this person, whoever this is in your life. And I'm saying that it's a person I don't believe it is something else. In some cases, and for very few of you, this can be negative thinking, okay? Um, also, fears may be coming up at this time, okay? The fear of the unknown, the fear of not being able to move forward. After deception, it's no wonder that you would have lack of trust in your love life. Now, okay, in the now position we have here, we have the uh, Page of Cups. So there is an offer, an offer of love here. Now, I don't know if you've made this offer or someone else has. My feeling is that you have offered your cup to someone. This is Piscean Energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, but this is the energy, okay? Now, some of you may have, may have Pisces in your natal chart, very in a strong position. It could be your moon or your rising sign, okay? My feeling is telling me that you have made this offer of love. And the challenge is that if you have been knocked back or whatever offer, this could even be a friendship, it could be, you know, the beginning of something, the beginning of a kindred spirit, someone who wants to get to know you or you want to get to know them. You know, it's, it's because it's a page, it's 
it's um youthful and sincere energy okay so it's it's a beautiful beautiful card to get but the innocence here um has probably been knocked back and um, in that case now as I said I don't know who's made the offer whether you have or someone else has in whatever case there is lack of trust and that's why we see these cups that have been um, spilt spilt over here but the person here with the cape is holding two more cups okay and the cape itself to me says that there is secrets here as you can see this person is very hidden they're hiding behind a cloak so there are secrets that are deep deeply hidden there and um if we are talking about a Piscean energy, Pisces is the 12th house where, you know, they're very deep, very secretive, okay, it's the 12th house, lots of hidden matters there. So there are secrets here and that's why not all information is, um, has come to you and that is the challenge card here, that there are two cups, there is still a chance here but it depends on which way you look at things, okay? And maybe it's just a matter of time. Maybe time is the enemy here. Now in the distant past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, right. Very slow and steady movement. Now Leo, I do not have a card for you. You are not showing up here. Unless, you know, we're talking about archetypes, as I said, you could be showing up as the page of page of uh, cups, but um, you are not actually showing up in your element. So this to me is um, is someone, and I believe that this is the same person here. I believe that we are talking about an earth sign here. Okay, earth qualities. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now, <clears throat> even though we've got the card of Capricorn, excuse me, um, I usually see the uh, the King of Pentacles as a Taurian energy. Now, I don't have a card of Virgo. I've only got the card of Capricorn, but that, you know, the Devil card speaks of a lot of things. So I can't be certain which sign it is. More than likely, I'm, you know... Um, leaning towards Tori and the energy and um, the Knight of Pentacles here is showing and this could be your energy as well very slow and steady movement you know very steadfast very taking one step at a time now if there has been if there has been deception in the past Okay, if there has been deception and there has been some sort of a completion, it says that the cycle has finished and as I said, a new cycle is beginning. So maybe that's why you're taking your steps very slowly. We don't have the, the full card here which is showing a new journey. Maybe you're in between two worlds here and you're treading very carefully and very slowly. Now, this is the same energy as the King of Pentacles. Um, I do see maturity here. There is a change. So going from the knight, becoming a king, that's a major change, transformation. That's a quick maturity. And that is probably because of uh, circumstances that could be the case. Um, now, I don't know if the deception... I don't know. I'm going to look at some more cards before I say who has caused you harm in the past. I will be pulling some more cards. Let's go on with the reading. Crowning your reading here 
is the Four of Wands, and that's a card of celebration, wedding, um, some sort of celebration. It speaks about your foundation and your home. It's usually a very good card, but we don't know if it's not it's not reversed because I'm not doing reversals. So usually this is a lovely energy. Now it's the crowning card. Um, because of the card of uh, the Ten of Swords, I don't know. I have a feeling that this would have been reversed because, because we've got the challenge card as the, the five, five of cups. And we've also got another five here, which is the five of wands, okay, not being on the same page. Disagreements, even though it's not a very strong, not a very negative card, it just says that um, there is differences of opinion here. Sometimes arguments can get a little bit heated, but it's not a major. It's not like the five of swords. Now we've got the four and then we've got the five, which speaks of progression. So there's still um, still misunderstandings here and lack of uh, being on the same page. Now in the advice position, how people see you. Okay, this is the advice position. It says move, overcome all the obstacles. This is a major arcana. Okay, the chariot could also speak of Cancerian energy. This is an absolutely beautiful card. It says overcoming obstacles and being able to steer this, this horse. In this case, it's one horse. This chariot forward. Okay, and it's a very dreamy sort of a card because it's all up in the ethers. It's up in the stars. That's why I love it. I love the uh, chariot card in this uh, deck, in this tarot deck. Absolutely wonderful. So you're overcoming obstacles, hopefully, but in your environment area, in the environment position, you've got the seven of wands. And usually the environment position shows energy that is around you. Usually it's not what you are doing, it's someone else, something else. Okay, seven of wands says that there it's as though you are fighting against other opinions. Okay, you are standing up for what you believe in. Look at the way he's standing, so certain. Now, I have the feeling that this offer of love, with the challenge being the five of cups, there's been a knockback on this offer. It has not been accepted. And someone is still persisting in fighting this offer. So we've got two sevens here. As I said, sevens are beautiful numbers in the tarot. Seven is a spiritual number. And it is a lucky number for a lot of people. But they are cards where there are challenges, okay? Here it's to steer the, the, uh, the chariot forward to overcome the obstacles and here it's to stand up for what you believe in, okay? Fighting against other people's opinions, other situations. But you do have the advantage here. That's what the right away weight tarot shows, usually, okay? Now your hopes and fears, we've got the tower. For some of you, this could be a fear and others of you could be a hope. Sometimes we may want to start with a clean slate, okay? There may be some negative energy in your life and you want to get rid of that. You want to start anew, okay? Um, so this energy here would have, you would have already gone through this energy, which is like the eclipse energy, right? And because we have the Ten of Swords over here, it says to me that whatever happened, the tower should have been here amongst these cards. So the fact that the tower is here, for me, says that this is probably a hope. And it's sudden, it's a sudden change, right? So you're hoping for clarity and a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. Okay, and uh, your energy is all over this.
card here. Look at all the fire, the passion. Okay, which says to me that whatever truths, because the Ace of Swords is, ab is about the truth as well. And remember how I said that? I see that there may be secrets here, there are hidden matters because of the cloak here. So someone is holding back and not telling you the truth, but it is burning. It is burning you and you're going to find out. You're going to be burnt. Burnt. Not in such a bad way. It's just that it's going to be... Uh, what can I say? It could be a very heated discussion because the Ace of Swords could be a discussion, a conversation where you are finding out some truths that will kickstart you into a new beginning. That may be the uh, what you are hoping for as well, okay? Now, next to that, we've got the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is usually a card of expansion. Threes are a very positive number in the tarot. Now, usually this is the card of the... Uh, uh, the person who is skilled, okay, he is, um, he's in the Rider Waite Tarot, he's talking with another two people, they're having a discussion on what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. So this may be, there may be three people involved in this conversation. And we do have a couple of children here, and I, I just noticed that. So there may be children in the mix as well, in the, um, in the situation that you are, the truth that, that's coming to light for you. Mm. So uh, next to that, we've got the Four of Swords. So it looks as though after the clarity, there's going to be a time of uh, taking time out. You need to... Uh, you need to interpret everything in your brain, put it all in, in order. Um, you need to come to terms with some things. So you're taking time out before you get up and continue what you're going to do. And, you, you know, usually we've got the three swords in the four of swords card got the three of swords and the fourth sword is right next to the warrior he's going to get up and take the sword and go and do battle again but here we've got a different energy here as you could see this person is in between the four swords so it's as though he is um the four of swords you know fours always speak about our home our foundation it seems as though this person is in his sanctuary here and uh, the wolves that are around uh, the swords, the swords look as though they are protecting him. He is in uh, a place of protection, right? So he is protected as long as he is in his, um, in his uh, foundation, in his home, in his sanctuary, whatever this means for you. Okay, I'm going to take a few cards. Right, first card is going to be... Um, I'm going to take the first card on the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles usually is a very... Uh, very good energy, you know, financial prosperity, comforts. He's a person who knows how to value people in the, his life, if this is your partner, if this is your love interest. I don't know if this is the person who has done the dirty on you, who's stabbed you in the back. Now, deceptions, depending on everyone's situation, they can be difficult. Sometimes they are not such a big of a deal. Okay, we've got two cards. Sometimes they can be very drastic. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, we've got the death card. 
and we've got the moon. Now the death card is, it's the card of uh, It's the card of Scorpio. Okay, now, um, okay, and with the moon here, hmm, quite a scary couple here. The moon is usually a card of fears, instinct, um, dreams, intuition, right? And things that are hidden. So, hidden matters. And then we've got the death card. And the death card means that there is some sort of transformation. Some sort of transformation. Let me take... Now with the, um, the card of Capricorn here, the, the devil card and the death card here together, it's getting a little bit scary. Let me look at this uh, Knight of Pentacles. And I may have to use the Sibylas for more clarity. So the Death card and the Moon card, they're both major arcana cards. Now the Moon could be speaking of the Eclipse the eclipses. Also, um, as I said, Jupiter is moving into Scorpio and Jupiter is the lucky planet of abundance and luck and all that. So, okay, here we go with the Knight of Pentacles. This is your energy, dear Leo. We've got the King of... Uh, the King of Wands. I believe that this is your energy, okay, because this is a fire sign. Um, but I'm going to look at it with the Sibylas. Um, give me one second. The We know your energy, your loving, your... And I was just going to look at the environment position. But I was saying Leo, right? There's the Sun card, okay? And I didn't get to say this card, so this card is going here, okay? This is your energy, so you have been taking one step at a time. You are moving very carefully, very slowly, since there has been a bit of havoc here in the recent past for you. Recent and distant past, I should say. Let me take a card on the Seven of Wands. This is turning into a bit of a thriller. What's this Seven of Wands, please, Universe? Spirit Guides, guide me, please. Six of Swords. So that is uh, moving to calmer waters, to moving away from, from a difficult situation to calmer waters. Let me take another card. Okay, the Page of Swords. Now we've got two energies. Um, two cards of uh, swords here. Okay. More swords. So the page of swords is news coming in, news coming in in relation to a truth, information. It could be messages. Um, but whatever the message is, it's going to help you move from trouble to calmer waters so this is a positive note here here i would say let me take a card on this uh, devil okay devil what's this devil yeah seven of swords the card of stealth sneaky Okay, someone has tried to get away with something, okay, um, again, this goes very well, very well, 
with the Devil card. Some of you have been trying to move away from this difficult energy. Um, and this could even be your energy where you are trying to, you know, hide, uh, get away under the radar. Um, because I did have a lot of, I did sense fear before, dear Leo. Let me look at, I'm going to take one card on the Four of Wands. And we've got another king, the King of Cups. And this is a water sign. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Now I've got the card of Cancer here, right? And I've got the card of Scorpio here. And that is very funny because we've got the card of Scorpio here. So, wow. I'm just trying to make up a story in my mind. Put the pieces together. Give me a little bit of time, dear Leo. I told you this is turning into a thriller. <laughs> you have to laugh. Okay. Even though we're doing tarot, it's for entertainment purposes, right? We don't base our life off of the tarot. Okay. What is this page of cups offer here? Ten of Cups. Okay. I'm going to take just one card. No, one on the Tower and one on the Ace of Swords. And then I will go to the Sibelius and try and unravel this mystery because it is. Ace of Pentacles. Nice. And that's on the Tower and one more card for the ace, ace of swords. So you've got two aces now. And there's the card of Leo, the strength card. Okay, let me take a couple of Sibylas. I'm going to look at this king of pentacles first of all. So we're talking about an earth sign and a water sign here. Now the Sibylas are going to help me to, um, to see what is going on here. Who is the, who is the culprit here? First and foremost, I'm looking at the King of Pentacles, as I said. Spirit guides and angels, please guide me. Who is this? And what is it all about? Artista. So this is a discovery. And this could be a solicitor or someone who sits behind a desk. An entrepreneur, just like the King of Pentacles. Dispiacere. Tears and hurt. And then we've got Allegreza al cuore. Now this is happiness of the heart, but there's three people here. So I'm going to take just one more card. One more. If we look at the artista and the Allegreza al cuore, they are mirroring each other. So the dis discovery says to me that it's going to be good, even though... We've got the Dispiacere in the middle there. One more card, please. And we've got the Vecchia Signora, which is the visitor. This could be advice from someone who is more mature. This is a positive energy here. Too many cards, way too many. But as I was going to look at uh, this King of Cups, and I need to say this, the Falsita card was staring straight up at me. The Falsita, which is the, cat, the card of deception. Now, I don't know if that's meant for the King of Cups, but it will show now. 
Now the Vecchia Signora could be some someone who's been in your life for a while because this is someone who is mature. Now King of Cups please with a Four of Wands. What's he all about? Letera, so that's news coming in. Donna de Servizio, this is usually the servant, the helper. And then we've got Delirante, which really, this is the silly, um, silly actions, delir being delirious, not being able to stand on your own. So let's say that the news comes in, which is positive. So deliriousness can be either one way or another. So I need one more card for clarity. And we've got La Reunion. Okay. Well, well, well. Also, and I'm going to look at this devil as well, but as I said before, we had the Page of Cups here and the challenge was the Five of Cups, yeah? And I said this guy has got secrets, something might come to light. Um, and it is a card of cups. It's a Five of Cups and Fives are always, they speak to external um, things coming in to bring in change okay and um, then I pulled the ten of cups here which is full and utter emotional fulfillment you know being happy and jovious beautiful it's the one of the nicest cards right so it looks as though I said that the offer may have been knocked back Right, but I see that this King of Cups is the more subtle energy. So some of you, because of the Death card there with the with the um, King of Pentacles, this may have been someone that you may be closing the door on. Now. I'm going to take two more cards on that, but I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to look at the environment position. Dottore, which is healing, and it looks as though your reading is going to be longer than others. Stanza, which is the, the news coming in, but there is no one in the room. And this is also the card of intimacy and secrets. So a healing, and there's the La Matrice. So beautiful energy with the Dottore here, the healing and the uh, female lover here. So it says to me that there is healing through passion, through intimacy and through love. Okay. Um, I'm going to take three Sibylas on the chariot because I want to see what this energy is all about. What's this movement? Domestico, which is the butler, your confidant, someone who you confide in. Prigione, which is the devil card, very similar to the devil card. And then we've got Donna Maritata, which is the other, it's the woman, it's the mother with the children. Usually this is a very positive energy. So what it tells me here. Because the domestico sometimes is lack of trust. Sometimes he's someone that you don't trust 100%. So it looks to me as though there is movement here, literal movement. And you may be helped in moving with this, um, with this King of Cups. Even though we've got the uh, card of Scorpio here. The death card. Okay. This person may be transforming for some of you 
it's going to be the same person, right? They are transforming from being such a business orientated. Okay, because I'm not reading reversals. So this person can be just too wrapped up in their career, in their money and everything about it, okay? There may have been a transformation, okay, because we have past eclipse time. For some of you, this person has transformed because not all these Sibylas are negative. We've only got the Dispiacere, which is a negative card. The rest are all positive. Okay, and this person here, he or she may be transforming and coming back. Their emotional side may be coming out because the King of Cups is someone who shows his emotions, right? For others of you, you are moving away from this difficult energy here, okay? And you are breaking free, breaking free and moving out, okay? Moving away, traveling, whatever it is, you are breaking free because it's as though we've got the devil card twice, okay? And wherever you do go, there is going to be growth and there's going to be stability because I look at this Donna Maritata as the empress, okay? I'm going to take three Sibylas on the devil card with the seven of swords. I'll just take one on that, one card. Denaro, you see, that's the Ace of Pentacles. Now, this Capricornian energy, the devil, is either too much, because this is like the Ace of Pentacles, okay, too much work, too much um, being driven by money, by finances. Um... And with the, uh, with the uh, Donato here, it's like the Ace of Pentacles, as I said. With this movement away, someone is trying to get away from some someone or something. I believe that this is your energy and there's going to be a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. A new stable beginning. You do have the Ace of Pentacles here as well. Okay, so it's quite a difficult reading because there is a lot of information here. A lot of different energies it's as though there's I'm reading for like two three different groups of people see what resonates with you take what resonates and what does not is not your message let me just look at here the secrets this um, offer of love and the ten of cups please universe Superbia, which is the uh, peacock, the beautiful peacock. So this is pride, vanity, something lovely, someone being I don't know, could be someone that is very cocky, someone who thinks that they're everything. Maybe that's why the offer was knocked back. Someone needs to be brought down a few steps maybe. Namika, see, that's a negative energy here, a lot of pride here. And then we've got Speranza, which is the card of hope. There is still hope, but also we can say that this is a card of fear. Let me take one more. One more. Last card. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I had a feeling. Ladro. Negative change. Something gone missing, something stolen. So there is a negative energy here. So For some of you, I believe that this neg negative energy, this could be in relation to a marriage, a long-term relationship. 
And maybe that's why, because the thief is in your house. So obviously the Speranza is a card of fear. I'm going to take just one of these. One more card for that. A lot of secrets and hidden information. One more card, a bit more clarity, please, universe. Yeah, you see the Five of Pentacles. So there has been a feeling of lack. Okay, someone is very driven financially. Someone has been very driven. Finances are here, okay, in relation to the breaking down of some um, some long-term re term relationship here. But there is a new beginning. You are hoping for a new beginning and it's going to come out of the blue. You've got the tower here. You've also got the card of clarity with the ace of uh, swords. And you've got the strength. You've got the strength card here. Okay, this is your energy. You're going to stand up, okay, and um, face whatever you need to do. Sometimes we don't have a choice and that's what's going to happen. But it's not all bad. We do have positive energy here. Now, we've got a water sign here, okay? water sign here uh, which is showing as a very positive energy for some of you this could be someone coming from your past someone that you already know there is going to be a meeting a reunion here my goodness me what can I say Leo wow big reading I do hope that was that helped some of you with a bit of clarity on what's happening. Um, sorry, it got a little bit uh, a little bit difficult at times. <sighs> a lot of emotions. I felt a lot of energies here with these two cards. Okay. Um, please um, write and let me know if you feel as though this uh, reading resonates with you. Um, because I do feel as though there has been some loss, some loss, someone has passed with that death card there in the moon card. Um, I'm just hoping that I'm wrong. If that is the case, please let me know. Um, but it's a general reading, so it does not mean the same for everyone. Dear Leo, Thank you so much for taking the time out. Do keep well. My blessings to all of you. Good luck with what you do. See you soon. Bye-bye.